So you might be in a situation where for some reason RCS messaging is just not working inside of your iPhone. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons. As most of you know, RCS messaging is a new way of basically going through and sending, you know, those rich messages to other devices that support RCS. Now, you have to be on iOS 18 in order to do this, but this is still a work in progress. Like this is still not perfect. So there's definitely going to be issues going on. So number one, just go through and make sure and understand that is a work in progress. Now, the other thing you want to do is make sure you're on iOS 18. As long as you're on iOS 18, you can probably do this. So what you want to do here is you want to make your way over into your settings application. So you'll come right into here. You want to scroll down until you find apps. So you want to click on apps and then you want to scroll down until you find messages. So tap into messages right there. And there should be a little option somewhere here that should show you and allow you the capability of basically going through and enabling, you know, send as S send as RCS messaging. So you already have the capability of sending as a text message. You should see also an option here that says send as RCS message. And that is kind of all you're going to have to do. So from there, you're pretty much good to go. As long as that's enabled, you should be fine. Now that other person that you're sending to, you know, as an RCS, it may not always work perfectly. You also want to make sure the receiver is also having RCS messaging enabled. If they don't have RCS messaging enabled, well then that in and of itself is going to be another issue and that could be a reason why they're not receiving those messages. If that's still not working, you can try restarting your iPhone. So hold down the buttons to restart your phone. Give that a try. You can also try going through and basically updating your iPhone as well if there is a new update available. So go back inside of your settings, scroll down until you see general, click on software update, go ahead and try updating your phone and you want to see if that ends up fixing the problem as well. So those are kind of the main ways to go and fix it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I got you guys in the next video. Thank you.